Hi everybody, this is the Whisper Corner. Happy New Year. I was looking through Reddit last week and there was a post about life pro tips that people learnt in 2022 that might be useful for passing on to people for 2023. And I looked through the post and I've written uh, about a dozen down on this page. Life pro tip, count the number of tips before you start the video. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I was right, a dozen. Um, I will post the link to the Reddit thread in the description below. So the first piece of advice I wrote down was Comparison is the killer of joy. Your path is not like anyone else's. So enjoy the things that you do. Enjoy the little milestones, the improvements. And don't think that so-and-so little Johnny down the road did it better, did it easier. It comes better to him. I'm not good at this. Just enjoy what you've done. Don't compare yourself to other people. Really is easier to say than done. But maybe for this year, we'll see how we get on with that. Number two. If it takes less than five minutes, do it immediately. Procrastination is like my big idea for doing. It's like I watch far more astronomy and astrophysics videos than I do sport or um, ASMR. Um, and I keep thinking I should do like a three or four hour video on the history of the universe. And nah, TV is more important. Let's just watch another TV show. Let's watch a new series. That one's finished. Let's start another one. Maybe I should go out for a walk today. Nah, I'll do it tomorrow. But on the other hand, a little thing that I have found myself doing for the last few months is that whenever I get ready for work in the morning, if I'm, say, five minutes early, I look around the living room, look around the kitchen, and just think, what can I do to tidy up the place? What can I move? What can I put where it's meant to be? Yes, I am untidy. But almost sometimes, you know, there is nothing to put away. Or maybe I'm just saying that so I don't sound quite so bad as I'm talking. Number three. You can't make somebody love you by giving them more of what they already don't appreciate. There's no point in going out of your way to give people more of your time, more of your effort, more of your money, I suppose, if you buy them things. If at the end of the day, they don't care. It doesn't mean anything to them. You think that maybe they will see how much you care. But so what? You're making an effort that they don't really care. It doesn't dawn on them and maybe they just don't care anyway. Let's move on. Walk to places 
where you can. So, well, especially as I say, it's on the tin. If you're going a short distance and you don't have to drive, or you don't have to take a taxi or a bus, walk. They say that sun or vitamin D is good for you. Sunlight, being out in the sun is good for you. I remember years ago when I was in Los Angeles. Wasn't Los Angeles, Narbot Town? No, actually, it's the opposite. Was the hour opposite of Narbot Town? Widen it up. I was in California, and as you know, the car is king in America. The car is king in California. People don't walk anywhere. And I remember the person that I was going to see, the hotel that I was staying at was yeah, about a 10 minute walk from the hotel to her house. And I don't drive, definitely, well, obviously I didn't drive in America. So I would wake up in the morning, have breakfast in the hotel, and then walk to her house. And I was probably the only person that was walking the streets most days. To which she said that, well, only poor people don't have cars in America. Poor, poor people and tourists who don't drive. So last year I started walking a lot more to work, walking where I can. I remember, um, when was it? The end of October, early November, I got a wisdom tooth out. And because I'm on blood thinners, I had to go to a specialist dentist. Um, just in case something went wrong. And from my house to the dentist, yeah, a couple of miles. More than a couple of miles now, you think about how long it took me to walk. And they said, as I was leaving, now, no strenuous exercise for at least three days. Because they want the clots to form. So I proceeded to walk for the 1 hour 25 minutes to get home. And I was thinking to myself, if I walk slowly, is this strenuous exercise? Or maybe does walking for a long time count as strenuous exercise, even if it's slowly? I'm still alive anyway. Right, let's see. Next up. Learn to say, I deserve better than this. And cut things out of your life that aren't making you happy. I suppose we all have things, people, jobs, people who don't make you happy. Cutting them out is the hard part. I suppose, especially now in this day and age where we're all online it's like you delete your social media but then you have this urge to go back to it couldn't tell you how many times I've deleted Facebook just to start again next up start building muscle well before old age, it will drastically improve your quality of life when you get older. Yeah, I've heard that one a lot. That, obviously, if you're fit in your 20s and 30s, it will be better for you once you get into your 40s and 50s and 60s. Well, I'm now 44, although you wouldn't think it. More like a, a bad looking 12 year old. Um, bad, tall looking 12 year old. I was saying to somebody at work yesterday that. Hold on, I'm getting a bit of paper to draw on. 
I've been a member of a gym twice in my life. And it's always been in the wrong place. Which of course is my fault, it's not the gym's fault. So, if I live here, that's home. That's work. And that's the town, city centre, whatever you want to call it. In both cases, the gym has been that way. Whereas I spend all my time going back and forth from there to there. And the only reason to go to the gym, sorry, the only reason I ever went that way was going to the gym. In which case, it was very easy just to go. Nah. I suppose if the gym had been here, Obviously, that would be a lot better. A little anecdote. I was told the other day, the same day, that my stories are really boring. No swearing in these videos are allowed, so therefore I will not tell you what I said. So, I have weights in the house. I have an exercise bike in the house. That is the room where I spend least time. Well, I think technically the last few weeks it's been uh, zero time. Well, apart from the one minute where I'm going to get this A4 pad. Next up, drink more water. Does that go count? Because, you know, the liquid is water. something we all know. We all should drink more water. Good for our skin, good for flushing out toxins, good for making us feel full so we don't end up eating or drinking rubbish. But again, the stack count. Next up, learn to say no and accepting that no is a complete sentence. I was thinking when I was writing this that any time I'm asked to do overtime and I don't want to do it, I always think of, of some lie for why I don't want to do it. And I don't have to lie. You know, you don't have to lie. You just say no. You don't have to explain yourself. If you don't want to do something, just say no. Don't let people pressure you into it. Kevin, do you want to drink more water? No. <laughs> um, next up. If you own it, use it. If you don't use it, don't own it. It's a very clever little one, that one. Just think of the amount of junk that we accumulate in our lives. You see something and you want it and you buy it and you don't use it. Two years ago for Christmas I bought myself an iPad for Christmas. Never had an iPad before and I couldn't tell you the last time I turned it on. Not in the last three months anyway. I always look at it as a waste of money. Um, my brother sent me a video yesterday of my nephew with his new scooter. I'm not a scooter, it's one of these little ride-on four-wheeler things. Electrically charged. He's three. Or he's four. He's four. And uh, I said he's making good use of it, and he said unlike his bike and his um, three-wheel scooter. So it's like a habit you develop from childhood. You get stuff, you use it for a while, and then you don't use it again. I keep meaning to go through this house and just clear out stuff that I don't use. 
but then it would take more than five minutes, so um, I don't do it immediately. Maybe tomorrow. I'm off work tomorrow as well. Don't let anybody or anything hold you back from bettering yourself. A little memory from eight, nine years ago. I told a friend at work, I say friend, you might disagree after I tell you what they said. I told a friend at work that I was going to lose weight this time I'm going to do it. And she just, I think the technical term is guffawed. She just went, no you won't. Okay, whatever you say. And I used that as motivation for losing six stone, which is rough, let me see, 84. It's 84 pounds. So I lost six stone. I put it all back on. But she hasn't been around, so therefore, you know. Um, don't let anybody tell you that you shouldn't try to improve yourself. Or that there's no point in improving yourself. Or that you can't do something. If you want to do something, go out and do your best and do it. And don't care what anybody else says. What anybody else thinks. Let them live their own life. They have no say over yours. Next up. Enjoy being bad at something. The joy comes from overcoming the challenge. When I was writing this out, I thought about something from earlier. And very earlier, 40 years ago, I remember learning to write. I remember lying on my stomach on the floor of my living room of my mum and dad's, what mum and dad watched on TV. And I was lying on the floor learning to write my name in cursive and just writing Kevin, Kevin, Kevin over and over again trying to make it better and better. And then the same nephew that I mentioned a few minutes ago, my brother, sent me a, a message or a photograph earlier of my four-year-old nephew learning to write his name. I'm not going to give his name away for matters of privacy, 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 whatever. But we'll change his name to David. But his name was written like this. And apparently my sister-in-law, his mummy, said to him, David, your name is meant to be written in a straight line. And he said, mummy, I write my name the way I want to write my name. He'll soon have that taught out of him. But uh, we all learn things. Everything that we do, we've learned. We've learned how to walk, talk, drive. write, read. We were all rubbish at it at some point. So give yourself the time to improve. Don't rush yourself. Don't say, I've been doing this for three months. I can't do it. Don't give up on yourself. There was 
saw this on a TikTok video the other day. It's roughly around the, the idea of if you do something every day, if you do something for 100 hours over the period of a year, which apparently works out to be roughly 18 minutes. It's funny the random stuff I remember, but if you do something for 100 hours over the period of a year, at the end of the year, you'll do better than 95% of people in the world at doing that thing. Yeah, I am my thing that I'm better at is telling people random stuff that I remember from TikTok and Reddit. So, enjoy being bad at something. The joy comes from getting better. Unlike the three guitars I've bought myself over the years and then given up and given away. And finally, a practical tip. Which I haven't tried, but I, I read this on the thread and then I googled it and it seems to be true. Put a dry towel in the tumble dryer to make the clothes dry quicker. Apparently the dry towel absorbs the moisture in the tumble dryer, help, helping things to dry quicker. So I suppose I'll try that because I'm going to do a wash tomorrow. I could have done it today, but it would have taken more than five minutes, so I put it off. I think I'm going against that rule somehow. If it takes less than five minutes, do it immediately. I seem to be saying, if it takes more than five minutes, forget about it. Right, those are the twelve pieces of advice for 2023. Who knows? Might stick with it. Okay. Happy New Year to everyone. I hope you stay safe. Your families are safe. And you have a quiet and peaceful and enjoyable and profitable and loving and fan dabby dozy 2023. Thanks for watching. And cherry bye.